One, two, three, four. Yeah, go! Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite 666 and you are watching me play Metro Exodus. We are back out here in this wonderful new place we've discovered, and we are currently on our way to uh, scope out a lighthouse. As we are searching for a satellite communication center, so we can try and figure out what the where the heck we are. What's going on? Let's see if we can find anything useful about places to go next. Because we're running out of supplies and stuff on our train here. and uh, Apparently there's this local bandit warlord or whoever is not too happy about our arrival. So it's like, ah, yeah, there and show these newcomers what for. Yeah, I've already run across one of their guys. Knocked him out, stole his car, so they can't be too happy. But yeah, we're on our way to this lighthouse because, you know, might be something useful out there. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is about to speak. Is he now? Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. We live in interesting times, gentlemen. During the last sunstorm, somebody wiped our post in the ruins. Judging by the time, it's that train guy. I did call them out on it, but they kept denying everything. The thing is, some boys saw them driving a car our people at the post had. These newcomers are total loose cannons, so you must stay alert. As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken. Ah, uh, they're salty, I stole their car. Beep, beep, monsters! Splat! Splat! Bog. Honk honk! I don't have a horn. Oh, this is the uh, point of interest. It's gonna make me get out to tick it off on the map. Beep beep! Ooh, he's stuck to the front. Am I a bad person? Probably not. So, you know, there's this parents going on about how, oh, wiped out our outpost. You know, I didn't, it's not like I killed the guy who was there. I left him alive. Ooh. Oh yeah, I have like no shotgun shells. Doesn't seem to be anything fun here. Just a monster den. Whatever. Back in the car, I guess. tower. Not the uh, binoculars were just focusing on something there. Well, that's a flaming tumbleweed just rolling across my field of view. That was amusing.
Who's growling? Hmm, there's something going on down there. Don't know what it is. There's light in the way. But there's something over there. Hi, car. How are you? Alright, I just added a bunch of shit to my map. Look at all that stuff. Well, let's keep going places, I guess. It's getting dark out. I should see if I can find a... Uh, Find a rest point somewhere out here. Where am I going? Not the way I thought it would be. Um, I appear to have sat up very straight in my seat. Now I cannot see very well. Let's see if I can fix this. This makes it very hard to drive. Okay. Let's try again. I want to go run those mutants over. Ah, much better. No, my. My vision's not halfway into the roof of the car. Beep beep! <laughs> Splat! Alright, I know you had friends. Where'd they go? This isn't even a point of interest, is it? Nope. That's a. Damn it! I did it again. I put the map away and it stuck my head into the ceiling. Artyom. The car works better when you try and when you don't try and look out the sunroof while driving it. I just ran over that snake. I was just asking for a uh, hidey hole. I may have just found it. Maybe. Alternatively, maybe not. Oh yeah, that's definitely a hidey hole. Just gotta figure out how to get inside. Probably like right through here. Ow. Sneaky bastards. Ladies and gentlemen, I found a grenade. Did you know I found a grenade? Ah. All sorts of gun parts there. Okay. Hi there, dead guy. Anything else fun underneath here? Or is it just alternate ways inside? It may just be alternate ways inside. Yeah. 
Hi, buddy. What you doing? Nope, he's wandering off. Don't care. Wait, where's the where's the path back in? There it is. All right. Well, I've got a bed to rest in. I've got a workbench to work at. I can actually do some things. <laughs> I can make some ammo. Oh, let's see. I can make those sniper rounds. All right. Got a salt stock grip for him. Heavy stock, more stability. Sure, we'll put that on. More stability is good. So, no super decent optics for it yet. Let's see, nothing new for the AK. Much better. Now it's sleepy time. Let's sleep till morning so the monsters are less active. And watch the moon go meow across the sky. Well, something sounds unpleasant outside. Hmm. Demons out there harassing the local wildlife. I mean, it's part of the local wildlife too, I guess. Tell you what, if it shows up, I'm gonna try and set him on fire. Oh, demon. Oh, demon. Are you gonna come visit? Or did I get my incendiary rounds ready just for no good reason? Hey, ghouls! Beep beep, motherfuckers! Bonk! Splat. Yay, I didn't have to spend ammo on those guys. Hope the car can't, like, break because I run it into too much crap. That would be silly. And maybe not. It would not be good for my, uh, continued usage, though. Alright, this looks like a place to go through here. Hi, demon. Are you coming down to say hi, or are you just, like, floating around? What you doing, buddy? Yeah, okay, you're attacking. Come here, do that again. Now you've got fire in your crotch. Oh, 
I don't want to be flying. Ow. That hurt. Ha! I got an achievement for killing him with fire. That's great. I love it. Suck on that, you demon son of a bitch. Okay. So this is like a place full of people. Yeah, it's totally a place full of people. There's probably going to be no good way to get in there sneakily, is there? Hmm. I could just try and drive straight through, but then I can't, like, loot the place. A lot of those people there are probably the slaves that I've heard mentioned over the radio. Let's we'll see what kind of trouble we'll get into. there. I might be able to do this sneakily. I might not. We will find out. If I was any sense of smart, I'd go sleep again. Sleep till the night, when there's less people out and about, as I attempt to infiltrate this base. You know, that way it's actually, like, dark. And I can be sneaky, because right now it's not dark at all, it's like broad daylight. saves for. Excuse me. Hope you don't mind if I just... Maybe I can't knock you out. Can't knock that person out. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Must climb scenery.
Guess what? Grenades are not cans. dude in there. Yep, there's a dude just chilling there. He might be asleep. There's several dudes in there. You just wait there, bud. I am sneaking. Sitting here thinking, ah, I want to be sneaky and see if I can take all these guys hey, out non lethal. Are you okay? Oh. Oh. They realize something is going on. It's like, ah, maybe if I don't go around killing everyone, dealing with this Baron guy will be easier. But also, these are fucking slavers. So. I don't have too much sympathy for him. Like this guy, I feel like setting on fire. Shit's right there. Oh, you're surrendering. Surrendering? Do you guys actually have sense in those heads of yours? Nighty night. I mean, if you're going to surrender, sure, I'll knock you out, but, uh, I'll lose no sleep over having to kill you bastards. Are you the guy set on fire? Did you just wander out here and die? Ooh, 
a note. Leader's letter. With this letter, I, Arson Mustafin, declare you, a lowlife calling himself the Baron, declare to you that I am the leader of my people, not a lousy traitor appointed by you. On behalf of all the people of the Free Canyon, I tell you now that we will no longer be afraid of you, and we will not submit to your thugs either. We had enough. We won't tolerate being corralled like cattle, having our young men and women enslaved. We will not have any more of it. We will, be, we will take up weapons and chase your dogs away and kill you all. Now you will be afraid of us because we stand for freedom. We will all die for freedom if need be. And we don't need your holy flame either at all. Get out of our home! For we never invaded yours, Arsene Mustafin, the president of all free people of the Free Canyon. Ah. Interesting. Seems the Baron uh, moved in. Him and his thugs, and they uh, moved in on someone else's territory. If I'm gonna end up like <laughs> Hello. Another upgrade. I feel like when we're done here we're gonna end up like taking a bunch of the slaves with us because we kill the Baron or whatever. It's like, no, fuck you. And now we need more train cars to carry them. Bench. Let's see. What did I just find? Motion scanner. Oh, uses a variety of detectors and advanced computer algorithms to identify moving enemy units. Sure, we'll play with that over our uh, compass for the moment. See how this works. Gun parts for the sniper rifle. Oh, zip line. to ya. Not kill me, sir. Slave do nothing bad. Nothing. Nah, it's not you guys do anything bad. It's the uh, slaver guys who did bad. Ah, forgive me, sir. I'm a good slave. Take this truck? Doesn't look like it. Beebity, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, it is about time to wrap it up for this part because it is that time. No last now. 
will punish you. Flame always punish he who hurt the master. Uh huh. Sure. Is that the remains of of trying to make a campfire in this cramped little thing? That sounds like a terrible idea. There was a note back on the table there. I need to make sure I go back and get it. But, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to wrap it up for this part because it is that time. So. Once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play that might make for a good series like this at some point in the future, or if you just wish to give me a shot, give me some feedback, let me know how I'm doing. Am I doing good? Am I doing bad? If I'm doing bad, what can I do? If I'm doing bad, I'm doing good. Or if you just wish to inform me that I'm a terrible person because... because I've got this motion tracker now, and it's always just going to sit here and go beep, beep, beep whenever there's people around, and it may or may not get annoying. You may inform me of such in the comment box below. PC, PS4, and Switch for recording suggestions, as that is all that I can currently record on right now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be kept up to date whenever I post up new videos, and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, if you know of anyone else who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Point them in my general direction so maybe they might potentially swing by and be amused by the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, you should follow me on Twitter, at NanoWilly666, as I will be using that to make news updates and announcements and such regarding the channel whenever the need should arise in the future. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. I am NanoWilly666, and I will see you all next time. Beep. Beep.